So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to start your diet. Now, let's jump straight into it. Um, when you talk about dieting and when you talk about um, leaning down, especially if you're coming from it from the standpoint of being on a plant based diet, you really have to dial in your macronutrients. So that's going to be number one. All right. And why is this important? Well, for one, you have all these different fad diets out there, the keto, paleo, um, high fat, and, and whatever the case may be, and you have all these different fads out there. And the problem with that is it's a trend. And as we know from human evolution and human history, trends come in and they leave out, right? And most importantly, it's all a, re a revolving cycle, right? With that being said, you don't want to follow the trends per se. You want to do what has always worked. And that is having a balanced macronutrient ratio when it comes to dieting. Now, what is the best macronutrient ratio for leaning down? Well, if you're leaning down and you want to lean down and remain as strong as you are and, and try your best to keep the uh, most amount of muscle mass, you want to have a high protein diet, all right? Whatever amount of protein you're getting now to bulk up to gain muscle, you want to raise that up about um, two to five percent, okay? Um, for example, me personally, I have been getting around about one gram of protein per pound of body weight um, on my bulk. And right now I'm about 195 to 198 pounds. So I've been getting about almost close to 200 grams of protein in every single day um, for the last about three months, three, four months. So now I'm going to raise that up and get no less than 220 grams of protein because I'm lowering the calories. So that is going to be the main factor and also you want to lower the carbs down just a tad at least about five percent of where you're at right now also with the fats you can keep those the same if they're not too high right um no more than 40 to 50 grams of fat per day right so let's get into number two number two is a very controversial one but when it comes to getting down to your goal weight and starting your diet you want to make sure you have um the foods that you love in place for those snacks i hate to say the word cheat meals but you want to have that in place um i tell my clients for example follow the 85 15 rule that's eating 85 percent of the foods that you need to be eating and 15 percent of the foods that you love now that's doesn't go into say that the 15 percent of the foods that you love don't calculate those and don't count those calories no you still count those calories but you want to not be so strenuous if you're going to be eating less calories than your body burns best believe that your body is going to be fiending for more satiating foods so whether that is you know potato wedges where you just absolutely love whether that's um certain potato chips and maybe even sweets you can save 15 percent of your calories for that day to actually eat those foods that you actually love so that's a little hack that i've always used and my clients use as well and they get amazing results all right and number three the last um tip for dieting dieting down is when you fall off track don't beat yourself up, okay? This is probably going to be the the main one, the major one, all right? You don't want to beat yourself up when you fall off track because guess what? I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. No one on this planet is perfect. It was never a perfect human being ever created, all right? Or ever born, all right? With that being said, it's okay if you fall off track. It's okay if you mess up and it's okay if you been whatever the case may be you may not be perfect you're not going to be perfect so when you fall off track the best thing to do is not beat yourself up because when you do beat yourself up you end up going further down that path of destruction 
opposed to climbing out of their pit and going in a better direction okay so you don't want to beat yourself up and when you fall off recognize it as a fault reassess get back up dust yourself off dust your shoulders off and keep it pushing okay so these are the three tips and last but not least i'll give you one more bonus tip because i like to over deliver value when you're leaning down and when you're dieting down you want to make sure you're strength training in the gym you want to be trying your best to get stronger now there's a lot of studies out there that say um well they're on the fence that some say you can get stronger when you're in a deficit and some say you can't some say you can build muscle and lose weight lose fat at the same time and some say you can't me personally i have done it so i know that it is possible and i know a lot of people who have done it so what you want to do is while you're in the gym you want to be trying your best to remain as strong as you are or try your best to get stronger that way as you're losing fat you will not lose as much muscle mass and as much muscle as you would otherwise you not trying your best to um get stronger okay so those are the tips for starting your diet in 2021 for summer shredding all right if you have any questions make sure you leave them in the comments below also if you need help on your fitness journey and you need help losing weight toning up becoming the healthiest version of yourself or you need help going plant-based and going vegan i want you to click the link below right now schedule a free consultation call with me it's absolutely free of charge on that call we're going to be going over your goals what's been stopping you up to this point in a proven process that will not only get you to your goal from point a to point b but also help you maintain it once you get there all right till next time fuel yourself don't fool yourself in peace.